So in this video, you're going to see AI, artificial intelligence, or more specifically, artificial narrow intelligence, synthesize my voice, just like it's been done for Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Let's get into it. So I'm pretty excited about this video because we're gonna have a machine learn how to replicate my voice using artificial intelligence. This is quite profound. I mean, if you actually go to the website liarbird.ai and we go over to vocal avatar, you can actually hear Donald Trump and Barack Obama's voice. Take a listen. I am Donald Trump and I think that my digital voice is quite impressive. I don't know exactly how they made it, but I'm really impressed. I'm Barack Obama. And I think that my digital voice is quite impressive. I don't know exactly how they made it, but I'm really impressed. Okay, that's quite astounding that a machine learns how to replicate their voice. You've got to remember with AI and machine learning, this doesn't work like your typical programming where a bunch of programmers said, make the tonality X, make the intonation Y. The machine actually learns itself through going through tons of data, working via the machine learning algorithms that programmers have put in, but yes, the machine learns just like the human brain. Now we know with advanced narrow intelligence or ANI that machines can beat humans now at poker, at Go, at Dota, at basically the world's hardest games. Poker for me is particularly impressive because the machine has actually figured out ways to play humans at their own game. So for me, this is absolutely mind blowing. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is when we're talking about blockchain and cryptocurrency, etc., I really believe that with A and I, because we've proven now, advanced narrow intelligence, if you give it a specific task and reward it for that task, it will learn, it, with enough data, it will learn and perform better than a human. We've now proven that. I really do believe that A and I is gonna become a big part of authenticating transactions on the blockchain. I mean, energy consumption right now is a problem, depending on whether you use something called proof of work or proof of stake. I'll do a separate video on that. So we are actually going to create right now a digital avatar of me. But I guess the first thing I need to do is sign up. Okay, so once you've signed up and you've authenticated your email, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is read 30 or more sentences. The more data you give it, the better that it should perform. So that's exactly what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to read 30 sentences. And then I'm just going to time lapse this so you don't have to watch me doing all of it. Then they got a hold of some dough and went goofy. The next thing the dope wants is a room. It's actually funny reading them. You have to try not to laugh when reading some of these sentences. It's quite an enjoyable experience. Okay, so once you've done this, you'll get this little message pop up down here that says you're good to go. But if you record more statements or questions or sentences, then the quality will improve, but we're just gonna hit create my digital voice. Right, that's gonna take some time. So let's take a listen and either I can recreate my digital voice or maybe record more avatars or try my digital voice. I'm going to try it, I can't wait. Okay, I need to type a sentence. Um, yo, tell me about what I sound like. So one of the things I need to say from the outset is in post-production and editing, I could see that you really couldn't hear the intonation, the tonality, the pitch that I could hear behind the digital noise. So I really recommend you try this yourself and really listen behind that digital noise. Also use a good mic, use a mic that really picks up your voice very well when doing this. But nonetheless, it was still super interesting to hear. Take a listen. Today is gonna not be the day that they never throw it back to you. That's interesting, I spelled they wrong, I put two H's there. Today is gonna not be the day that they never throw it back to you. Okay, let's say something very South African. How's it, brew? How's it, brew? How's it, brew? Let's start a cryptocurrency. Let's start a cryptocurrency. Yeah, no, very interesting though, very clever. I'm blown away by the fact that a machine learns how to read my intonation and my tonality, etc which is pretty clever, but it's still a way off from actually sounding like me. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. I found it fascinating. Like I said, I really see a place for A and I in blockchain and cryptocurrency from an authentication perspective. I think that's gonna be an absolute game changer. It could be wrong, but as a futurist, this is how I think. Let me know in the comments what you thought of doing this. And if you'd like more videos 
covering artificial intelligence. You know, AI relies on having a lot of data. And as time goes by, these AI learning algorithms are getting more data. They're getting more intelligent. Can you imagine what the world will be like when you can't actually tell the difference between whether you're speaking to Donald Trump, the real Donald Trump, or the AI Donald Trump. These technologies, they only ever move forward. So I thought it'd be super interesting and super important as well to keep you abreast of what's actually going on in the AI field. Until the next video, take care and talk soon.